Have you ever wondered whether it matters what exact sequence you eat foods in? Well, it does. I'm Dr. Amy Shah, and I'm here at Dr. Confidential to tell you exactly the order of foods you should eat in your meals. A lot of people intermittent fast like I do, and they have their first meal of the day a little bit later than usual. For me, I usually have a breakfast, but it's a little bit delayed as per, I don't have it right when I wake up, probably an hour or two and sometimes even three hours after I wake up. And the order of foods that you eat, especially when you break your fast, really does matter, especially when it comes to blood sugar and insulin levels. Now, not only does eating in a certain sequence help you manage your blood sugar so that you won't get such a big spike, but it also will help you not get hungry so soon again. A lot of people tell me as soon as they eat dinner, for example. They will get hungry two to three hours later right before bed, and they won't be able to fast right before bed. So this is a strategy that you can use for the first meal of the day and for the last meal of the day and for the middle meal of the day if you'd like. So here's what the data shows. It shows that when you start to eat, you should start with fiber first. Fiber means vegetables, have your salad, have your raw vegetables, have your fibrous food first. And then second, you'll wanna do the fat and protein. And last, you'll wanna do the carbohydrates, especially if they're refined like a rice or bread, but you wanna keep the carbohydrates to the end in order to blunt that insulin spike. Therefore, not only will you have a better chance of not getting diseases like diabetes or heart disease, you will have less chance to store this as fat, and you will have less of a chance of getting hungry right two to three hours after eating this meal. So try it. So have your salad first, have your protein and fat. So maybe it's avocado and your protein, whether that's eggs or tofu or yogurt. And then finally you have your carbohydrates, which could be beans, which could be bread, which could be rice, which could be any kind of carbohydrate food. Uh, stagger it so that you're doing one after the other. And that way you won't have such a big insulin spike and you won't get hungry as fast. Hope this helps you. I'm Dr. Amy Shah. Thank you so much for watching.